welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed. And only those on official United Colonies business can act. Stay safe. Hey, Sarah's friend. You come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Something wrong with the exam? Sure thing. What do you want to know? Vanguard work is as needed. When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the Science Division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional Terramorph. And sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous. The Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. Wherever the UC needs us, the Vanguard is there. I'll keep an eye out for your results. Get big cities, but one clean enough to eat off the pavement? In 2150, humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of you. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that change possible. Just one moment, the Galileo, the first of the colony ships, touched down here on the ocean, beginning a new era of human history. Of house of a and in the name of their serpent god. It was 
was only with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remains, however, select members of House Varun who refused to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. I really hope this is just a phase. Dad wanted me to apply for the administration track at school, but I'm going to be a xenobiologist. galaxy's faction chiefs of the world were left untouched by the colony war. But in the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Lurkinia. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort. Lundinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. A pervasive threat to all human settled worlds. Terramorphs swept over the city, seemingly out of nowhere, on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts you know by the UC military you know slowed the onslaught, Londinian? but the creatures over proved the unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city. Outbreak and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. After the devastation wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. But the UC prides itself on taking care of it. simulators just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. While I can't answer that question directly, I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, Resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's repertoire. 
you're permitted, even encouraged, to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. Of course, you'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC science staff, right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that and you pass the exam, and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala to proceed on to the next step in your application process. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. Good hunting. The enemies cheat. There's no other explanation. 